Well, we had a little bit of rain last night and um, I was worried because I thought maybe the tent had to be weathered, you know, you got to weather seal them, wet them before they, uh, before you take them out so that they don't leak, but it was fine. And it's because it's got this double, this double thing here, the, the inside didn't get any dew or moisture, which was damn awesome. And also, my bike was completely dry because it was garage. Unlike Kinger's. His was out in the rain. Yeah, but my bike is tougher than yours. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, look, look, look at all this stuff here. Don't show my mess. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's awesome. When I was raining, I was just like, it's all good. My bike's secure, it's covered, happy days. And then you've just got this massive, like, this area where you can sort of stand up-ish. Um, got my jacket hanging here, which is awesome. And I'm gonna show you the inside and we're gonna compare both of our tents. ADV tent? ADV tent. And then this is obviously the motor tent. Hold on, I'll make it, I'll make it pretty. You're gonna make it pretty? I'll, uh, I'll show you mine first. <laughs> so it's got the double layer fly screen thing. So you can open this up and you can let the breeze go through. You've got a back door entrance as well, which is awesome. And then this is the space. So I just, I slept there really comfortably last night. Um, it's nice and dark, which is awesome. I slept till, what time did we sleep till? Like nine? I think one. No, 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 like, yeah. what time did we? Yeah, until like nine, yeah, and I slept fine, you know, like usually when the sun comes up, I'm awake, but this was nice and dark. It's red, but it's dark, which is cool. Heaps of space for another person, like easy. Got my helmet and stuff there, just, you know. And then I've got my packs here, they were just all protected from the rain with this um, bit of shelter, and it was, it was awesome. It was actually such a cool little sleep, and it's actually mad being able to stand up and just look down and find your stuff. Usually I'm just like sitting on my, on my thing and trying to like go through all my stuff, trying to find everything. That was cool, first night in the moto tent, the Lone Rider moto tent was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I absolutely love just having my bike just sitting in there. Nice and safe, it was all zipped up, protected. Fantastic. Did you sleep well? I did. Did you get cold? Uh, no, but I had a lot of gear on. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> liners, great BV, thermals, hoodie, jacket, yeah, a lot of stuff. That's crazy. That was, I was yeah. Are you ready? Yes. This so this is, this is the tour. This is the ADV tent. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's green. <laughs> <laughs> it's green. And what I like about it is, when you open it, I mean, you can like roll it, you know what I mean? Like a, 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 a plastic kit. Or, or. Like just like that. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. That's heaps good. I don't know, maybe you have this option too. With this one as well, you open. And then there's like a little pocket. Ah, oh, there is. Yeah, I think I do have that. Yeah, and then you just like go. stuff it in there. Bang. That's open cool. Space. Boom. Not, not a great feature. If you come, come here inside. Inside here, like here, ah. like a nice, nice, uh, like a shelf. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, and okay. This is my, this is my sort of Netflix TV holder. So I put my. Uh, so you just lay down on the mat and yeah, just I'm stare like, out. Put next to it, like my phone here, and it's just like yeah. Oh, that's awesome! This one you can hook your your um, light or anything. Oh yeah, you want. cool. Yep. And what else we have here? Uh, we've got a little pocket here. A little pocket there. Pockets are handy, hey? Oh, yeah, very much so. And you see, like, this is all mesh, so it's nice because sometimes you don't want, you want to see the stars and you just don't want to put, you know, you don't put the cover on. Yeah. And that's what I did in um, in Botswana and the elephants were just like walking oh, around. It was so nice. So it's nice that, you know, where you're lying here, you can see the sky. And an elephant just looking over the top of you. Yeah, that's insane. Much, <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. So it is two men, two men ten. Yeah. You put two mattresses easy and it's like, it's like still quite, quite spacious and then on both sides you know it's symmetrical so you've got a lot of place outside so i think you know there's a lot of people who travel like cu traveling couples who want to travel light sure and they use this tent for me as a solo rider this tent is like a mansion because you know some before i had tents who like they were so compact that when i was sitting up 
I like I would touch my head and I, I just couldn't sit comfortably. But like, right. sometimes it's raining, I just like work on my lap. Yeah, how good's that? I have space. I think it's very, very spacious. And you got like the other door there as well. That's another yeah. door there. Yeah, because it's two can, entries, yeah. Breeze. Breeze, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. I and then love it's, it. I think this sound is, you know, I don't know, it's like it's ticking it's ticking all my boxes. Yeah, I've sure. I've been using it for three years. Not that this one is new because it's for Australia, my yeah. sent to Africa, but yeah, I for me, this is yeah my home for for three years, and I love it so much. That's awesome. Yeah, and there's like oh ventilation, like you like I hope you got this, 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 so you see like you could put that stick out, and you've got like a little ventilation. Coming ah, when the material is like really high grade and everything. This one, like there's option, you know. Um, this one is plain. But there is option, and that's my African tent. I mean, um, the one that I use on my round the world trip. Mm -hmm. I can have like a map of the world. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yes, that's one you usually have. Travel, yeah, yeah. We travel, like you, you mark it on, so that's pretty good fishing. Oh, cool. That's okay. awesome. Do you want to show yours now? I've done that one. You already done by yourself? You don't need I've done to... it. I don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> like all these. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. Last night we got talking. This is the most epic helmet. I thought this was like, you know, like my premier sort of style, how they come out with all the designs and patterns and everything. But this, this was hand painted, yeah? Yes, 100 hours. 100 hours. Just hours hold it. Yes, I just want to get a nice helmet. little, like, wait for this car to get past. <laughs> And every single detail uh, has a meaning, you know, the, the artist Yena from Austria, she researched so much, so I said like, I would like you to to tell a story of my travels, of my, my upbringing, of, you know, uh, of me being in Poland and then being in Australia and then being around the world and recently in Africa, so she just like, it will take me like one hour to explain you what that was. Oh yeah, but, for sure. But um, yeah, she's done it wonderful. But like even, like, even just the, yeah, like the vent and everything, it's all... Yeah. It's insane. And then around the back, like their favorite, like that's, that's the kangaroo there, yeah? Yes. That is the kangaroo. It's true. There's two kangaroos. Yeah. And it's full on like native Australian sort of styles. Yeah. Like, and then you've got the, the, eagle. the awesome eagle on the back there. Like mm -hmm. it's such an epic helmet. And then just like the gold and the white yeah. and everything. How long have you had this for? Four months? Yeah, right. Okay, not even that long. Hey. It's, it's new. That's a cool looking helmet. It suits, it suits your jacket. Know, right? It looks so good. Go really well with it they go. Uh, so what? What? So what gear are you using? Because we're gear nodes here on Meadow Fields. Yeah, right. <laughs> we love gear. Yeah, right. Okay. So I would always ride in goggles because I mean, you ride in goggles, so you know that. It just looks goggles. just looks cool. No, for me, no, because for me, it's the best anti wrinkling solution. So you know, really, like your eyes are always relaxed, like you don't get sun, like you know, because your eyes are sealed, and this is good shade. You don't like when I'm riding in glasses or with a visor. It's like I'm doing this. Ah. My eyes are always relaxed, and especially like, if you follow someone. I don't to do too often, but because I'm riding solo. But if you follow someone, like the dust doesn't go into your eyes. Sure. Okay. I mean, even if it's raining, not raining, I always everywhere around the world I'm riding in goggles. And what brand are these? They Liat. Liat. Hey, there we go. Um, so like yeah, it looks awesome. It actually, I love it. I love that you got it all nicely set up. Yeah. And then, and then, like, so it's like night riding. You flick that down. You put the goggles here or whatever, yeah, or rain. I or? only keep it. I hardly ever use it. I only keep it sometimes. You know, it's so windy, and I'm recording. Uh, oh yeah, I sure. Would, like put it over. Ah. So to block the wind. Okay. And that's the only time when I'm using it. Sure. Okay. Awesome. And the visor doesn't get in the way or anything like that. That's all like happy days. Yeah, it works good. well. The shade is awesome because you know, yeah, see, I need one. Sun, yeah. yeah. I know, so many times I'm riding into the sunset, like, you know, riding into the sunset, yeah. this is cool, and I'm, I you just can't, can't I can't see anything. Mm. So yeah, so uh, this is the only reason for me to have a visor, just for recording in, in, on a windy day. Awesome. Mm. Let's talk about your bike. This is temp like my temporary bike, uh, <laughs> just for straight. Her Aussie, her Aussie bike, yeah. I, well, yes, uh, so I'm testing it, you know, I've got the deal with Husqvarna just to, to have it for two months while I'm here in, uh, in Australia for two months. Because I'm on, you know, break from my round world trip. Mm -hmm. My bike is being shipped from South Africa to, to Canada at the moment. So That's I had crazy. all this time to come back home and to enjoy Aussie bush and camping and just take this beast for a for a spin. I love it. I mean, it, it is such a capable bike and so quick, comparing to my GS. I mean, it's just like, whoosh. I mean, take, 
my one is an old bike. It's really yeah, cool. that's right. Yeah. But this one is just incredible. It's got a lot of modes. You know, it's like a. Do you have modes on your bike? No, I think you're. The year after does for me. All right. The year after have, has a lot of upgrades. I should have just got the year right, after one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Uh, <laughs> so we have, you know, street mode, rain mode, off road mode, explorer mode, where it's like you can customize stuff. That's so cool. Hey. It's, uh, and you can control how much traction control you want, what level, like you want your, uh, your wheel to spin. I mean, oh, wow. it's such an intelligent bike. I can't believe it. I mean, enjoying it yeah awesome yeah that's so good that's it looks it looks the beast hey like when she rocked up at the survey i was just like holy crap like there i'm with my scramble like just trying to be like an adventure person and then she rocks up on me it's like full on what's, your, what's your engine bar what's your cc 900 same same well there's 901 right <laughs> it's better i win yeah that's right <laughs> how many horsepower do you know how many horsepower because because my <laughs> <clears throat> there it is right here Mine's only like 55 oh, stock. No, it's very slow. Normal. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, see, there we go. Mine's a little sluggy boy. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like I was following you. Like, you, you, you got a good kick there. It's just the technique, you know? Yeah. It's just your, it's all... your heavy hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. So good. Husky. I enjoy it. Uh, husky to dusky. All right, we're going to go for a little cruise up and down some roads, get some shots. Um, and then I guess, I don't know, time's ticking away. Hey. I know. Time flies I want when you to camp time. forever. Maybe I should do a round the world trip. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'd camp. I like camping. I like camping with people. But <laughs> the one, like, you know, it's 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 killing me. It's like itching at my at my soul. I need to go out for a solo trip. But uh, you know, I feel nervous about it. I feel pretty uncomfortable. No, um, don't, don't feel nervous. It's only the first day. The first time. <laughs> Like any advice though, like what would you, if there's someone like, you know, the people watching here at home now are just like, I really want to go for a solo trip, just a one-nighter somewhere, like what would you say to do for your very first trip? You know, can you recommend, you know, what they, like the essentials and stuff? Yeah, I mean like... Like you obviously need tent and sleeping thing yeah. and... Then your food and then that's it. Because like today, we were, like last night we rocked up, there was no fire, so it's like, yeah, maybe take a stove because you might... Yeah, that's right. Fire. Or maybe, yeah, you go to the place where there's no fire. But like, don't overthink. Just pack up and go. Like, it really, for one night, two nights, you don't need that much. And the more you're on the road, you realize, like, how actually less stuff you need. Yeah, but sure. just don't overthink it. I mean, even if it's, it's, like, first night, you can be uncomfortable. It's like, oh, this mattress is not working for me. Maybe I should add it to something else. Just test whatever you have. Don't go and spend money because maybe you're going to like it or not. Yeah, that's right. Just go with what you have and then, yeah. Sure. And then I guess, like... Like last night we were talking about different countries and um, that's not our car by the way, we don't have a support vehicle. <laughs> we are all alone. Um, we're talking about how like, you know, she's obviously been, or you've been around different countries and like, you know, Australia we have like very poisonous snakes and yeah. poisonous spiders, box jellyfish, like sharks and all this sort of stuff. But she's been places where there's bloody bears, yeah, lions elephants, are, lions. Lions are worse. <laughs> lions, nice. lions are the worst. But snake, just shrugs so it off. Easy. It's so easy. You just make noise. If you go to the bush, get a stick yeah. and just like make noise. They, 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 like, they're not after you. They're not but I'm like, you. imagine, I can imagine so just being like, okay, okay there, there could be a lion watching me. I'm not sure. Uh, like, yeah, you... yeah, no, I was actually in lion country at, in Namibia and it was it was not wild camping, it was a campground, but it was like no one around and normally would people... You by yourself? Yeah. What? Normally when people would arrive to this campground, they would like have rooftop tents and I'm like, lions around and I'm like, in my tiny little tent, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to get it, you know, eaten, but no, it was... It was wow, and so what do you do? You just like, what, you just put your food separately all the time? I did, uh, no, I just kept it on the bike, I just, I was hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Hope for the best. This is like these ones, yeah. <laughs> Camping. No, it's, it's different. But in Australia, I think it's quite easy. I mean, we follow the simple rules about the snakes and spiders, zip it, and then make noise, and then you're pretty much good. Uh, yeah. Yes, last night we put, put, so, so a scorpion, like it was that tiny. So zonk. Isn't that insane? I know. That is so cool. Yeah, it's super tiny and it's so cold. I, I didn't know that walking around like this. Like, why did he like, I reckon I think he's lost. It's too little. <laughs> yeah. He wants the beers, that's what he wants. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. We saw a scorpion. It was, yeah, that's the first time I've seen a scorpion. And me too. Oh, yeah, which is like ever. In the isn't world. that cool? Because we're actually talking about that. We yeah. literally spoke about how she's never seen a scorpion, and then literally like an hour later or something. Yeah. Pitch black. Yeah. She's got eyes like a bloody eagle, <laughs> and she just pins it out, and there's like literally a scorpion Tiny just cruising around. A baby one, but yeah, still can't. Can scorpion. Mm, yeah. So don't, I think when you know when going by yourself camping, don't overthinking. Just pack up and go, and then it, it's weird the first night. I swear, like <laughs> when I was going my first night on my on the, uh, trip around Australia in 2012. 
set up my tent. But us, I, I camped like, this is like free camping, but there were like, you know, people around, like grey normas and people in caravans and all. So I felt, okay, I'm by myself, but I'm not by myself. Yeah, yeah, a little bit safe. So and then I set up my tent and I'd lay down and I'm like, oh my God, I've never camped by myself. Like, this is so strange. And I like, got out, like, okay, I'm going to go and talk to people. So maybe that's the thing. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. You know, wiki camps or like, you know, there's so many in the national parks, go to the campground where there are people so maybe as a starter that's a good thing sure just don't go into the wild by yourself uh, yeah like the full-on wild yeah yeah and then you get used to it and then you just you will eventually go to the wild by yourself yeah <laughs> that's, <scary> that. <laughs> that's right all right well um you know that's definitely going to be a thing that's going to happen on my channel very very soon and um king is going to be there <laughs> in in spirit to support my i'm just going to be by myself going what would king do <laughs> all right let's do this shoot shall we let's get it Hang on, where am I? I can't see. There we go. Here's hand. Yeah! We've got so much stuff. Like, we literally... We've... What time? So, we got up at 9, and now the time is half... 20 past 3, yeah. The whole time we've been... We've been shooting. We've been getting content. Because, like, doing this stuff with other people, people hate it. People just want to ride. Like, non-YouTubers don't want to do this. But it's sick when you actually have someone with you that understands and, you know... Oh, that's right, yeah, we got some rubbish at the campsite. And then we're gonna get some lunch. So, let's do that. <laughs> yeah! Cheers, mate. Brost. Dunk brost. That's a bloody good beer, hey? That's a bloody good beer. Good old Sapporo. Um, What's next? Where are you heading after here? Red Ocean Road. And I think I'll spend at least five days in Red Ocean Road. There's so much to do. So sick. Mm -hmm. I'm yet to do that. Yeah. My lone, my lone camping adventure. <laughs> yeah, now you're ready. One man by himself. <laughs> <laughs> one, one with, a <laughs> yeah, with a big tent? Yeah, with a big tent. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you. Oh, yeah. Um, it's been so good. It's been I so know, much fun. I know, it was so nice to meet you. Uh, thank you, mate. It's oh, pleasure. It was, we had so much time. Yeah, yeah, I know. We did so much. Like, you How's my hair? Yes. <laughs> Take three? Take I think three. I can finally spit it out. Great hangout. I mean, like, we've been together for like literally oh, a right. day and a half. Yeah. But like full on. It's been so good. Fantastic We've had a full on few oh, days. It's been so sick. Yeah. Boom. Enjoy your ride. Ride safe. I'll see you. Next I don't know. Time. Just somewhere. Sometime. Woo. <laughs> Bye. That is it, ladies and gents. On her bike. He's on her bike. Bye bye. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a legend. She's so cool. Hey, like, man, we were up till like 1 30 almost 2 a.m just chatting what she's doing is something that i look up to so much like wholeheartedly hey she's like traveling around the world on her bike by herself if you want to check her out go back and check her out watch all this stuff from start to finish it's so good to see and it's like just so good that she's she was in town and she was down to hang out with me hang out with us it was sick so good i am going to ride around the delicious great ocean road back to the warehouse and um see you mate <laughs> and get editing on this clip look at this man oh uh, what a time good trip thanks so much for watching guys take care ride safe i'll see you in the next vid you